Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayer. Today's topic is Happy Science Philosophy on Work. Today's topic is Happy Science Philosophy on Work. Everyone has problems at work, such as worrying about your own lack of working ability or uh, human relationships or worrying about people disliking you because of your success. In other words, jealous. What is the secret of heavenly success? How to perform well at work while getting along with other people? What kind of mindset do you need to have in times of adversity? How to open up your future? Today, let's learn about happy science philosophy on work based on this book, The Heart of Work. This book gives you a lot of hint for improving your work abilities and skills and also human relationships at work. First, when you are struggling with your work ability, what you should reflect on when you suffer from a lack of competence in work is to make sure you distinguish between the important part and trivial part of your work. In other words, it is important to grasp the central concept of the job. Also, you need to check to see if you are doing your job correctly or not and making mistakes or not and inconveniencing other people in work you are entrusted to do so or not. This is love that gives in happy science philosophy of work. Work always involves with other people and people contribute to society through their work. Therefore, you are practicing the love that gives through your work. Also, you need to know your weak point on work. It is important to know yourself and how to cover your shortcomings. Second point, how to be successful without becoming a tengu. Even if you work hard and are successful at your work, others may not like you. Why not? Do you think you are smart or feel special because of your education, ability, or success? Please think about that. Academic background and past success are your advantages but they are not enough to get by all the time. It is important to always work hard and improve your abilities. You also need to reflect on whether you are working in cooperation with other people or not. Make sure you are not thinking that you are the only one who should be successful. In order to not to do that, Happy Science recommend you to practice three happinesses. First one is happiness saving. Are you making an effort without losing your humbleness? Second, happiness sharing. Are you assisting other people so that they can be successful as well? And the third one, happiness planting. Are you doing something for your juniors or subordinate so that they can grow in the future? These will prevent you from becoming conceited or becoming a tengu. And lastly, it is important to have an attitude 
of improving your ability all the time without being happy or sad about changes in your environment or becoming vain or desperate. For that purpose, there are three guidelines Master Ryuho Okawa teaches us. Average level of work, persistence, and improvement. Your average level of work is like the batting average in baseball games. It is the performance of job over a certain long time of period. Persistent is like a long distance runner's ability to keep going for a long time. And improvement is to maintain the desire to live in such a way that improving yourself will lead to the happiness of others. And this desire leads to the path to Buddha and God. Standing above the environment and continuing to make effort with th these three points in your mind will open up your future. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the prayer. Lord El Cantare, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and a prayer to guardian and the guiding spirit. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other. And there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is the symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. 
if it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the two words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The two words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the two words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirits in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world. Utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that the love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep bright mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts.
prayer to guardian and the guiding spirits. My guardian and the guiding spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and define my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.